quietly researched. He filled notebooks with ideas. He experimented in his garden. He studied pigeons and barnacles for years. Meanwhile, other scientists were circling the same idea. Finally, in 1859, Darwin published On the Origin of Species. It was explosive. Some praised him, others attacked him. But the world could never go back. Evolution was out. The crux of Darwin, Darwin wasn't just a genius. He was wonderfully weird. He had terrible stomach problems and tried bizarre cures, like dunking his feet in cold water to stimulate his brain. He experimented on his own kids, timing their reflexes and watching how they reacted to music. He once played piano to earthworms to test if they could hear vibrations. Spoiler, they didn't. He loved long walks. Turning his backyard into a lab filled with earthworms, plants, and endless experiments. And that beard, it wasn't just for style. Later in life.